Tito is a battle pet with a unique cosmetic effect. Every three minutes or so, a little tornado will spawn and then make a beeline for Tito and throw him in the air. Then it just despawns. The interesting thing about this tornado is that it houses two cows, each attackable through a macro individually, or can be killed with just an AoE. Now, here is where the DPS boost comes from. There are many classes who get special buffs or resources by attacking things normally, like an arcane mage gathering up arcane charges, red pallies to get holy power, rogues to get combo points, etc. So probably the most reliable use of this pet is to use the cow to get a little head start on your resource spender, so you don't have to ramp up at the start of the fight, and you can just start out by going all out. Many Shadow Priests in the previous expansion, when they still use Shadow Orbs, would use Tito to build up Shadow Orbs with a Glyph that would give them three orbs for one cast on a new target. A Glyph useless for single target boss fights, and more meant for leveling or ad heavy fights. But with good old Tito and his Cow Tornado, you could just switch to the Glyph, hit a Cow with Mind Blast, get three orbs, then simply switch back to a better Glyph and start the fight. Now, you might be asking, how is this any better than just attacking a trash mob? Well, it isn't. This was only really used as a pre-opener when there was no trash on more than just the first attempt of a boss fight. But the cows from this tornado could be targeted by anyone, not just the person who owns the pet. So you could just have your whole raid bring out Tito if they had it and increase the chances that a tornado would spawn quicker to get some nice pre-pull buffs. But that's not all, the tornado also spawned during boss fights. Killing the cows mid-fight did have certain benefits for a few select classes. Shadow Priests being one of them again. You see, Shadow Priests have this talent called a Twist of Fate, which will increase your DPS by 20% for 10 seconds after damaging a target below 35% health. A straight up 20% damage buff to all of your damage is a really good buff to have. And even though the cows only have one health, they would still proc this buff when killed. Now, a talent that could only really be used on ad fights or during the execute phase of a single target boss fight could now be used randomly throughout almost any boss fight. So just have your whole raid set out Tito pets and just create a macro to target cows with a quick instant cast and reap 20% damage buffs periodically throughout the fight, rather than just at the end. The tornado won't despawn until it either hits Tito or enough time has passed. So it's also possible to just kite the tornado and save the cows for extended buffs. Kill one cow, kite for about 10 seconds, then kill the other, since each tornado does spawn two cows. This was a lot harder to pull off though mid-fight, especially for classes that could benefit from killing it. Now, was it really worth it to go through all the trouble of waiting for a tornado spawn randomly so you could kill cows for a little bit of pre-pull extra DPS? Not really. Killing the cows mid-fight for a Twist of Fate buffs wasn't really reliable either, since the cows could be killed by other people's cleave and AoE by mistake. You'd need fast reactions to take advantage of it as soon as it spawned, and due to the random nature of the spawning, you could get a spawn at a time when you can't even use the buff, or can't spare cast to kill a cow. I brought Tito with me through a heroic Emerald Nightmare clear, and only noticed it spawn three times, and the cows were already dead in two of those spawns. So was Tito a DPS boost really? The quick answer is yes, but it wasn't really worth all the effort required to use effectively. But even then, that could vary depending on who you ask. Because people absolutely did use Tito for boss fights or extra DPS, and I think some classes even still use it today.